Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to Cap Tech. Today I want to teach you guys about ESET's Sys Inspector. Now this is a diagnosis tool, so it's not an active and on-demand scanner, meaning it's not going to actually try and remove any malicious software. What it does is it performs an in-depth system scan and lists everything that could be a potential threat from files or register injuries, running processes, network connection, things of that nature in an informational situation here. So you can make a decision based on whether things in your system are good or bad. It doesn't actually remove anything. But this is a diagnosis tool. It's meant to be able to pull up information about your system and just give you a good heads up as to about things running and installed on your computer. Now the link to this is going to be in the video description below so you can go check it out if you want to. Full disclosure, I've been a partner with ESET since 2004, so a good long time. This software, ESET System Inspector, is completely free. So this isn't a paid promotion. I'm not getting a kickback for this. There is no incentive for you to specifically download from me. I get nothing for it. This is just software that I have used for more than 12 years, and I highly recommend to people. If you do happen to purchase a license from any of the ESET software packages, ESET System Inspector is included in this, or you can download it as a standalone. Either one is totally fine. But I wanted to show you guys a, bit, a little bit about how it works, and so you can technically run it on your system just to get an idea if everything is good to go on your system. To start using the program, all you have to do is to use the .exe that you'll download from the link in the video description. There's no installer, it's a self-contained executable, meaning that as soon as you click it to run it, it launches it right away. Once you open it up, it'll ask you if you're sure you want to run it. You, of course, click Run, and then you will go through, and it may or may not ask you if you want to accept the EULA, the End User License Agreement, and then it goes through and does performing a loading sequence. Now, this may or may not take a little while, depending on the, uh, the system you're on, how much processing power you have, because it's doing a full scan of your entire system, and so it may take a little while to get the main menu. But once it's actually opened up, you'll see that there's a whole lot of information here and it can be pretty confusing if you've never used this before because this is a very powerful informational tool. The first thing you want to look at on the left side here is it breaks down by piece of what each individual thing is. Processes, network connections, important registry entries, etc. all the way down. And it color codes them based on the risk level. And up here at the top, you'll see this little slider bar goes from green to red. Everything is fine at risk level one through one here. And then as you go up, you can see it goes to unknown, to risky, all the way up to level nine. And wherever you let go of this, it'll hide all the stuff that doesn't belong in that specific level. So if you really want to kind of break it down to see what is crucial to have not running on your system, this is a good place you can change it. So you slide it down just a little bit. That way it's hiding all the good stuff, everything that's great and wonderful and you don't have to worry about. And then of course, all you have to do is click the plus sign next to it and it'll expand all the way down a little bit further. This is just a basic tree structure. So you click on the plus signs and it opens it up. And anything that's red, you can click on it and it'll bring up a bunch of information over on the right hand side. Now I know for a fact that this is some safe software because I use it all the time. It's just based on how it's actually used. So you gotta be real careful when you're deciding what you do or do not want to do with it. And of course the bottom window tells you a bunch of information about it, you know, what it's called, how long you've had it, the version of it, etc. And so that can give you a good idea if the program is safe or not. And of course you can right click to get a whole bunch more information about it. And this is just a good informational tool. And of course, if it's something you want to get rid of, then you know, hey, by the way, I have this weird program here that's opened up under this section in the registry. Same thing can go all the way down to file details. It'll highlight some stuff. See, this is the same software, so you can see how it may bring up a more than one section. This is under the registry. This is under the file details. And so this is bringing up the actual executable of what it is. It's listed as unknown because right at the moment, it doesn't know what it is. And the reason why this particular one's being flagged in this software is because it has an installer that's custom made by the company and so custom installers sometimes get flagged so it doesn't mean necessarily it's bad but because i already know what this is i know it's good so you don't have to, so i don't have to worry about it now again all of this is great and wonderful software here for information wise to kind of give you an idea of what is running and just because it's kind of this grayish orangish brownish color over here doesn't necessarily mean it's bad it means most of the time that it just doesn't know but you can see the risk level is right in the middle and unknown just means that it doesn't exactly know what it does but it's not saying that it's bad it's just saying in our database this isn't listed as a threat but we don't know for sure what it is until it's actually run so this is where you can make a bunch 
detailed decisions about what you want to do with it. And of course one of the best things you can do for it is under the file section here you can do a save log and this will allow to save the entire log that you have here in case you wanted to send it to a technical professional and that will allow them to open it up within their own software and so they can open it up and see if you have any problems on your system and make any changes with it. This is just a really good diagnosis tool. It's not an antivirus. The one thing I will say about this software that's kind of a drawback, quote unquote, is that it's very confusing for lower level users or people who aren't exactly computer savvy because this is a ton of information. And fortunately within the software, you can't make any specific changes. So clicking around and accidentally pushing buttons isn't going to just start deleting system files or changing registry things. But the information provided in there can be very daunting if you don't know what you're looking at. So once again, this is a very powerful diagnosis software in case things aren't running around on your system or if you just want to kind of have a peek under the hood to see if there's anything installed or running on your computer that just may or may not need to be there. And then you can allow somebody who is computer savvy to have a look at this, whether it's via the log file or the software itself, and then they can make some decisions and changes to actually work on your computer. Anyway, hopefully this was useful to you guys, and if you have any questions, drop it in the comment section below and I'll happily answer it for you. If you would, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button underneath the video here. It shows support for it, and I truly appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for your time. You have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later.